These guys are the first. There has never been an RPA pilot or sensor operator that has been at the FTU and been by themselves as a crew using the airplane for training. As a crew, we were able to get the mission done today, and I feel really honored in the fact that the six was able to let us take the aircraft out solo, and we were able to get that confidence boost to be able to know we could get the mission done ourselves. The process for instructing the students while they're going solo is uh, similar to a race car analogy is a perfect one. So uh, a race car driver has a crew chief and as that driver is driving around the track, his crew chief is talking to him about his engine dynamics, when he needs to pit, other race car drivers, the leaderboard, uh, etc. So much in the same way, we're monitoring their mission to uh, help them with any questions they have, if they need help finding their target or maneuvering the airplane in a specific way that uh, they might have questions about, we can help them there. The reason why solos are now part of the training program is that it builds confidence uh, between the crew members. They get to build their airmanship, they get to uh, be in the GCS by themselves and really hone that uh, crew mentality together. Solo flights are one small step in growing the tactical professionalism of the community as a whole. Uh, but since these are the first solo flights, the result of that uh, increased crew mentality and airmanship is yet to be seen.